In order to run a payroll, you first need to add a few employees to your system. In this demonstration system, we have two employees already set up, but we could simply add some more by clicking the Add Employee button. So once you've got a few employees set up in your system, go over to the Payroll button on the left. Now go up to the top of the Payroll screen and choose the type of payroll. By default it's Monthly Payroll, but you could choose one of the other types. Then have a look at the current payroll period. You can see here that the demonstration system is a month one of the tax year 2015, which has a payroll processing date of 25th of July 2015. The payroll processing date is the date that you expect to be paying the employees. When you first start using the system, you might find that the current period is not the right period to start in. If this is the case, you can go over to company settings and change it. To go to company settings and change it, just simply go over to the employees button down here, go up to company settings, payroll periods, and on this tab you can change the details of the current period. But for this demonstration, we're going to choose month one as our starting period. In this demonstration system, you can see that we have two employees set up, John Smith and Sarah Simpson. John Smith is currently highlighted and his payslip is shown below. You can actually make this payslip a little bit larger so that you can see more details by just simply dragging the middle line up. At the top of the payslip we have the number of basic hours and the basic salary for the employee. These details are obviously picked up from their employee record. We also have the option to override the basic salary and hours if we need to for the particular month. Below that we have a list of all the different types of income that we can add to the payslip. These types can be amended if you need to, so if you need a different type of overtime or allowance or any other type of income to be added to the payslip, we can actually go up into settings and create them. But for this demo we'll just use the basics types that are set up by default. So if we wanted to add 5 hours of time and a half, we just simply go over to time and a half and we put in a 5, and the system will automatically calculate the figure for time and a half. Now I'm also going to go down and add a bonus to this payslip, so if I just pop over here and I add bonus £500, you'll notice that the system has automatically added the basic salary, the bonus and the overtime together to give us the total income at the top. Just below income you can see that the system has automatically calculated the amount of tax due based on the employee's tax code and it's also calculated the social insurance payment for them. Below social insurance you have the list of deductions that are going to be deducted from this employee's payslip. The system has a number of deduction types set up as standard. You can obviously add your own types by going up into settings, but for this demonstration we'll use the basic type set up for HSA payments. I'll put one payment of HSA for £11.50. As you can see the system has automatically added the deductions together. Tax plus social insurance plus the HSA payment has given us total deductions of 403.35. The system has then taken the total income and subtracted the total deductions to give you the net pay. Now at this point if you're happy you can actually click pay payslip and you'll notice now that the system has marked this payslip as paid. You'll also notice in the payslip list at the top, John Smith is now also shown with the status of paid. We haven't yet started Sarah's payslip, so let's click on Sarah. Clicking on Sarah brings up her payslip, and if we're happy with the details as we see them, we can just simply click pay payslip. Once you have paid all payslips for the month, you are ready to start printing payslips and printing payroll reports. To print payslips and reports, Go up to the top of the screen and click on the Period Reports button. A list of reports then appears on the screen. You just have to click the reports that you wish and you have the option to preview each report, export it to Excel or click Print. Typically you'd want to produce some payslips, so let's make sure payslips are selected and then click Preview. Up comes the payslip preview. At this point you can go over the top to the top left 
and you can click print report to send these payslips to the printer or you can click on the export button to export them in a number of different formats typically PDF being one of the most popular. When you've produced your payslips you can then go on and click on one of the other reports. One of the more common reports to produce next is the net pay report. There are also a number of other reports as you can see in the system. I would encourage you to double click on these and preview them to see what they look like. It's worth mentioning that these reports are available to be produced at any time now or in the future. So if you don't print a report when you're running payroll, you can always come back into the system and print it at a later date. Other reports that may be of interest are the bank, check and cash reports. Obviously each month you'll be paying staff either to their bank accounts, by check or cash. So you'll want to run these reports to get details of what payments are to be made. You can change how an employee is paid in their employee record. Once you have produced any reports that you're going to need, we recommend that you close the payroll period. The action of closing the payroll period locks off that period to prevent accidental changes. To close the payroll period, simply go up to Payroll Options, select Payroll Period End, Close Period. You'll be asked to confirm that you wish to close the period and to confirm the following month. Click Proceed. The system will back up the database and it will close the period. The payroll for the period has now been completed and you're now ready to perform the payroll next month. For information regarding other things that can occur during payroll, please see some of our other videos.